Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Last time, we just got the Ancient Sword, which is going to be so good for us in the near future. I love that weapon. But for now, let's continue with our adventure to finding the Goddess Bell. So I want to head to the right there. Okay, we want to head down there. And into that door, which is not empty for once. Okay, we've made it into a hidden room with... What are these things? Beavers. And apparently they know Gaw from Final Fantasy VI. No. No, they're just speaking weird, I guess. Can, do they know anything about the Goddess Spell? No. I think these guys are supposed to be like the Moogle equivalent of this game, but then they were like, Beavers aren't cute, what the hell were we thinking? Man, that was some acid trip. But no, no, um, this guy, apparently, for some reason, Guy can understand what this beaver is saying. I don't know why. A bell is hidden beyond the right wall. Hmm, let's take a look. No, not here. Oh, there we are. Okay. Let's uh, continue onward then. The path is pretty straightforward from here. And down those stairs to the right there. Man, this place is cold. We can make it. Whoa! There's a monster there guarding a piece of paper or something on the wall. I don't know. Well, let's open this chest. Okay. And I'm going to give that to Joseph. Just because. I don't care about him gaining HP, so... Let me see, who has the highest evade? Maria does, but Guy has more HP. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave Furion in the front row for this fight. Because he has decent H he has the highest HP for the amount of evade he has, so yeah, I'm gonna No, no, let's do it with Guy. Yeah, let's keep Guy in the front row there. And uh let's see. Don't I have the uh, ice wind on here? Good. Okay, let's do this then. It's a guardian of the goddess bell. Yeah, I know this guy has music and... Oh, crap. I know this guy has boss music in future versions of the game, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, see, I guess... Uh, well, what do I want to do? Eh, I'll practice life or something. Can't do much in the back row there. And I want Guy to gain HP there, so I don't want to kill. I don't want to heal him. Uh, just use Ice Wind. That'll take him out in one round. Big deal. Whatever. That's also why I'm not uh, uh, bothering to um, uh, play the boss music because kill him in one round with that anyway. That's another reason why you don't need to learn Ice. You have ways of dealing with it. So, yay! Guy gained some HP. And we get something hidden beyond the, behind the wall there. Hmm, let's take a look at that. We get the G-Bell, which can get us into Cashwan. As opposed to G-Money, which can get us into the club. Yeah, you like that? I can talk street. Who am I kidding? I'm about as white as they come. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I want to get everyone back into the front row there. And, uh, let's take that door out of here. Ah, so that's what that door was. But we can't go back. So now we're just going to walk out of here. Um, I want to save uh, 12, M at least 12 MP for Maria uh, for another boss coming up ahead. So let's keep going. Is Deadhead another drug reference in this game? I mean, th those enemies. Deadheads, you know? Those floating skulls or whatever they are. Eh. Yeah, I'm definitely not street if I don't know what a deadhead is.
Oh, by the way, um, I can't use exit. There's a warp field or energy field or whatever that keeps us from using exit, so that's why I can't do that. And Hey, it's Borgen. What's he doing here? Okay, so before I talk to Borgen, I'm going to uh, do a little bit of healing, rearrange my equipment a little bit, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, we've got everyone almost up to their maximum HP. Uh, some changes I made here, I uh, removed Maria's equipment and just uh, put it over here, so that way it doesn't hinder the uh, damage that her fire spell can do. And um, I'm not going to use the uh, Ancient Sword in this battle. Borgen's physical defense isn't that high, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I did move Maria into the back row since she's just going to be casting magic anyway. So, let's do it! You'll never leave here alive! Yeah, he uses the same boss music as the sergeant. So, let's just attack, 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 and Maria casts fire. So... Yeah, his physical defense isn't much to worry about now that we have mithril weapons. That really helps out a lot. Oh, I might kill this guy in the first round. Boy, that would suck for the music, but oh well. Okay, well, sorry I did that one so quickly, so... Uh-oh! It's an Indiana Jones-style trap! He's a load-bearing boss! can't hold any longer! Joseph! What are you doing? You're gonna kill yourself! Don't try to stop me this time, Smee! Don't try to stop me this time, Smee! Don't you dare try to stop me this time, Smee! Try to stop me! Too late! Oh no! He was crushed by the boulder! Well, at least on the bright side, Finally, a game willing to show the stones to kill off a main character permanently. Solar Rebirth doesn't count. In this game, Joseph dies. Period. Done. Cliché? Maybe. But it works for me. So, let's get out of here. I'm tired of that music. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's all I can do here now. Uh, fortunately, I removed uh, Joseph's silver plates because I want to use that... Eh, I might as well give it to someone. I'll give it to Guy since he has the most HP. So, that's it there. And uh, I'm going to be heading back to Salmando. So, um, I will meet you there. Okay, I've made it back to Salmando. So, let's tell everyone Joseph's dead. Yep, he's dead. Yeah, Joseph committed suicide. He just took one look at Borgen and was like, I can't take it anymore! Ah! No. No, he just sacrificed himself to save us. Okay, well, we better tell his daughter, I guess. You know, just out of courtesy. Ah, oh, she's gonna look after Nelly now. How nice. Thank you. Oh, she... Pretty bright girl. Yeah, he, he's not coming back. We left him for dead. Like we do in all random battles, that is. Yeah, what, what's up with that, anyway? So... Okay, so that's all, about all I can do here. I'm going to uh, sell my excess equipment. Let's see. Uh, ooh, a race of birds called chocobos exist in a grove south of Kashuan. Oh, this is the game where chocobos originated. So um, we'll have to keep an eye out for that because that's where I'm going next, to, to uh, Kashuan. So I will um, sell my excess equipment and uh, rest up at the end. And I'm going to go to Poft. So that way I can take an airship to get the cash one. So I will see you at Poft. Okay, we're back at Poft. And uh, I did a little bit of shopping while I was also selling my excess equipment. Uh, namely, I purchased a silver plate for everyone because they could use the extra defense. And I also uh, purchased an extra one for my next fourth character. Um, also, make sure you save the ice book, the battle axe, and the mithril shield for later as well. Now, I also took the time, since I had so much gold after the snow cave, I got two others, which will allow me to use magic as much as I want, really. Uh, Maria should be okay. Uh, she probably wouldn't need to use another, but Firion really would probably need to. Um, yeah, I almost got his spells up to level 3, but we're doing really well on stats. I'm doing a lot better than I did before in my uh, final playthrough before. So, 
Now let's take an airship to Kashawan. We've got so much gold, I really don't care. So now we just go outside. And uh, we hop on the airship, just like we do with the ship to get here. Whee! We have access to the airship relatively early in the game. It only takes us to fixed locations, but that's okay. Okay, so that's about all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Next time, we will enter Kashuan and try to get the Sunflame. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.